Hello and welcome to my tutorial series on how to make a custom zombies map in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 using the mod tools. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change your starting points that we have more than enough points to test out everything you need rather than having to kill zombies and, and then something not work and then you have to redo it. This way you can easily test it as soon as you spawn in. So what you want to do then is just open up the launcher. You can right click your map and hit show zone folder. Now this is going to open up where your zones are but what you want to do is go back one folder to the ZM your map name and then you're going to go into the folder called scripts then ZM and then here you should have a folder that's ZM underscore your map name. Now for me you're going to need to get a text editor. I'm going to be using Sublime Text 3 free text editor but you'll just need to right click it and open it with uh, a new text uh, you know new text editor. Could be notepad it could be whatever but it has to be a text editor and then from here you're going to have a thing like this. Now this is going to uh, pretty much load in a lot of stuff and then what you need to do is just right here you'll find function main and then after the open bracket I put it at the bottom of everything but what you want to do is you want to add in the ability to change your um, player starting points and you can actually see it right there so obviously you should always make a little comment on what it is that way you know in the future ever looking at your code or if someone else looks at your code you can just do slash slash uh, this is a comment this will not be rendered in the game so it won't give you any errors and then we'll just type in changing starting points and then to change the starting points we're just going to type in level which is it's now targeting the level we're then going to type in player underscore starting points now it's already there for me it's probably not going to be there it's only there because it's already in the map because it's right below it and then what we're going to do is we're just going to do space equal and then choose the amount so you can just put in I don't know 500,000 if you would like and then end it with a semicolon and then that's all you need what this does then is as soon as the map loads up it runs all of these scripts it uses all of this stuff up here and then it does this as well and then it's going to change the player starting points to this amount. So then just make sure you, that you hit control save to save it and then you can comment out your other one that wouldn't be there and then you can close out of it and close out of it here. Then you just have to compile lights link and hit build and then make sure you select your map of course and then wait for that to build. Uh, the good thing about this is if you get any errors or you did anything wrong with the code it will tell you. It'll tell you that oh this it was an error. This is wrong. I'm not sure if it'll go into detail of what's wrong, but if it doesn't work, you did something wrong. So just go back and, and make sure you did all the spelling correct and all that. But it'll just take a few moments for it to spawn up everything. Wait for it to load. It takes a while to do this. And I'll probably start cutting these out in the future tutorials because at this point it's pretty self-explanatory. I did that with my War at War ones as well. But it's good to kind of, you know, watch this and just see uh, what's loading and make sure nothing is, is breaking. So there we go. It did take 14 seconds for that part. We'll wait a few moments. That took another three seconds and we're done. So at this point we're just going to hit run. And then we're going to build up the map. And then I'll just cut to when the map's actually loaded. All right, so here we are inside the game. Give it a few moments for the game to start, and there we go. We have 5,000 points, and then we can actually come over here and, and buy all the weapons if we wanted to, which I won't be doing. That'll be in a different tutorial. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for changing the starting points. Hopefully this was helpful. It took me a while to figure it out. I thought it was as simple as just changing another code, but it didn't seem like it was. It kept, like, not changing, so I'm not really sure. But uh, now we can change that that way, and then I have a door here, which I'll do a tutorial on that as well but again guys check out the link in the description to the playlist for more tutorials like the door the weapons the perks and all of that stuff and i hope you this video is helpful and i'll see you in the next one